Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Chloe and this is A Girl Like Me with Chloe Ann. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am super excited to bring you a full face of new products to me. Most of these products are new-ish as far as like release date. We have some new foundations, concealers. I think the only thing that's not new to me today are going to be my lip products and my mascara. Let's get started. These are all of the products that I will be featuring today that are new to me and new to my channel. After I use each product, I will show you swatches of them, up closes of the packaging, and let you know if they are worth the money. First off, we're gonna start with the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen that's an SPF 30 with zinc oxide. This product says that it is safe for sensitive skin, Dermatologist tested and fragrance free. Directions are to apply this 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours if you're sweating or you're in the water. So this product has a little dropper on it here and the product is actually tinted in the bottle, but once you apply it, the tint goes away. And I already have body sunscreen on. You all know how I feel about sunscreen. Everyone needs to wear it all the time, every day. And I'm just gonna put that over my eyes and through my eyebrows. Really, really important when you're putting sunscreen on to get your ears, insides of your ears, eyebrows, eyelids, under your nose, and your lips. Because as a dermatology nurse, I worked in skin cancer surgery. We saw a lot of people getting skin cancers on their lower lids, underneath their nose, their lips, eyebrows, and kind of here in the glabella. Just make sure to wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. So I'm gonna let this sit and dry down just for a little bit. Right away, it feels a little tacky, but not too bad. And as, it, as it's drying down, it's feeling a little more like soft or almost even powdery to the touch. So now that the sunscreen from First Aid Beauty has dried down, it feels good. It's not too sticky. It's definitely not greasy, like a lot of mineral sunscreens I've used. So, so far so good. So first we have the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with the Zinc Oxide SPF of 30. Do we like it? Yes, we do. So I love that this is a broad spectrum sunscreen and I wore this all day. It didn't mess with my makeup. It did not make my face look greasy. And overall, it was super lightweight. So that dot is just the product straight from the applicator. And then just right below that to the left is the product sheared out. This product really just leaves a natural finish and I think would be good for all skin types. So next we're gonna do primer. I'm really, really excited about this. Okay, so next up is primer. Today we're gonna use the Ren Clean Skincare Perfect Canvas Primer. This primer is silicone free, cruelty free, dermatologist tested and approved. This product is good for nine months. Everything is made in the UK. I love this bottle, it's gorgeous. I've just heard a lot of good things about Ren. This is kind of a liquidy concealer with a dropper and it's clear. This states that you put this on your fingers. This claims that it will help mattify your skin um, and prime everything and give you better payoff for makeup that goes underneath. So I'm just gonna press this in and I'm even gonna go on the eyelids. This has agave extract in it and a couple other things, but I remember the agave extract was a big thing that they were claiming that was gonna help with priming. So now that primer is down, I mean, it's not like an uber tacky base. I think I might go in with just a couple more drops here and just go right in here where I need the most coverage. This stuff smells so good. It smells like, I don't know how to describe that. Growing up, did anyone ever eat those like lychee candies? The ones that had like jelly and there was like a lychee fruit in the middle? My grandma, every time she went to the Asian market, she'd always bring that home for me. Yeah, it smells really good. It's not like super heavily fragranced, but there is a fragrance if that bothers you. And this claims that it can be used with or without makeup for just 
just like mattifying your skin down. So interesting. So next up we have the Ren Clean Skin Care Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. This states that it plumps your skin, helps mattify the skin, can help fill in fine lines and wrinkles, and gives you just more color payoff. I'm not sure yet. I've only used it a couple times. All I know is that my makeup does look good when I wear it, so I will keep you up to date. I don't think that this primer is by any means like an uber tacky base, but I really like the feeling that it gives my face when I put it on. It feels really luxurious. So if you like that feeling, you like that kind of skincare kind of feeling to your primers, I think this would be a really great fit for you. So on the left is just a drop straight from the applicator and on the right is the primer blended out. As you can see, you can't really tell, but it's there. So now that we have our primer on, we're gonna move on to foundation. So for foundation today, I'm really, really excited because I've been looking at this foundation for a while and I've been really wanting to use it and I've been waiting to get it until recently. So the foundation is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40. So this particular product has squalane, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. Niacinamide, really, really good for your skin. Kind of helps with moisture barrier and squalane, of course. Helps with retaining moisture and is really good with um, hydrating the skin. And same with hyaluronic acid. The color that I got is ST4 Formosa. This, again, has a physical sunscreen in it, so zinc oxide, and it says helps prevent sunburn if directed with other sun protection, decreased risk of skin cancer, and early skin aging. This one says shake before use, or secours avant utilisation. So normally I would um, just use my hands for this kind of product, but lately I have been falling in love with a new of beauty brush and tool brand. So uh, today we are going to be using the BK Beauty 101 Contoured Foundation Brush. Well, I've been a sponge girl all my life. I've used Real Technique brushes for my foundation, didn't like them. I've used some MAC brushes for my foundation, again, didn't like them. Some Sephora brushes, didn't like it. And finally, the other day I was watching Kate the Great Beauty and she was talking about her affiliate links or codes and one of them happened to be for BK Beauty. So I went into Kate the Great's description box and used her code for 10% off of these brushes. I got the Essential brush set and the sponge and I'm telling you since I have got these brushes and that sponge that is all I'm using. That is all I have been using. This is not sponsored in any way, but if you are new to makeup, or if you are just like, I feel like I need a, a redo on my brushes or some new brushes, or you know, I'm feeling like my makeup's not looking as good as I want it to, I'm telling you, BK Beauty brushes do all of the work for you. This foundation brush, I love, and I've never loved a foundation brush. So this bad boy here, the 101, is by far my favorite. Off my off my little tangent here, but I'm gonna use the 101, the BK 101 brush for my foundation today. So we shook up the foundation shade and then I think I'm just gonna drop it directly on my face. Michelle Wong here on YouTube, she, she was saying that she loves to just build up light layers and do multiple. So I think we're gonna try that today. So we're gonna go in. I'm actually just gonna put it on my hands. And I'm gonna take this down my neck and chest just to make sure it matches my face. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be a good match. This foundation smells really interesting. And again, this is a skin tint, so I'm not expecting a ton of coverage, but we're gonna see if this is buildable at all. I think I'm gonna go in with another layer just to see how it builds. And this time I'm just gonna put it directly on my face. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the second layer built up. My skin definitely looks more radiant. I am seeing a little bit of coverage. I think I'm gonna keep it there because I don't want it to get cakey. And plus we're gonna go in with concealer here in a little bit too, just to build up coverage where I need it. I did bring it down my neck and my chest just to make sure that the color looks, you know, continuous. That's that, we'll see how this works. So the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Um, I really, really enjoy this actually. It is a very light coverage. You can build it up, but it gives you a nice dewy finish and it really, really makes your skin look glowy and healthy, but then it sets down to this really lovely consistency that's not too sticky. So I really enjoyed this product a lot. If you like something like a skin tint with SPF in it, I definitely recommend that you buy this. It is just beautiful. So on the left is the tint blended out and on the right is just straight from the dropper. You can see it's a pretty good match. Next up, concealer. So next up I have the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 3.5. This is described as a light neutral. It looks pretty yellow, but we're gonna see if I can fidget with it today. So I'm gonna put the Kosas concealer on and I have one more concealer that's a backup just in case. But let's try her out. Yeah, she looks a little yellow. We'll see. I'm gonna go under my eye, a little on my nose here, between my brows. By the way, all of the products that I'm reviewing today are clean beauty except for like a, my clear brow gel and of course like my lashes and stuff but my boyfriend's outside doing some yard work we're having some pest problems some mice have decided to move into our home so he is getting the house ready for the orkin man because i don't deal with that nonsense the only vermin in my house is me as this product is sitting on my face it's getting a little darker We'll see. So we're gonna go in with the BK Beauty Sponge and just blend all of that concealer out. Okay, so that is my concealer blended out. My face is looking a little yellow. So this shade 3.5 is described as a light neutral and it's pulling really warm, really yellow. So I feel like maybe if you are more of a neutral, trying one of their cooler tones. I think I might order a cooler tone just to see how that turns out on my skin. I do like the feeling of the, it though. It feels like really, like really hydrated. Ooh, and I really like that finish. It is giving me good coverage and it just it makes your skin look nice and supple. So that's not too dewy and it's not matte. It's just like a satin or like a skin-like finish. But I think because I'm looking so yellow, I'm gonna go in with another concealer. I'm going to go in to, so I'm gonna go into another concealer. This concealer is not new to me, but it still kind of falls into the clean category. I'm gonna use the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer in the color Chicory. I like this concealer, but I find that throughout the day it breaks up a little bit and it's a little bit drier of a formula and it smells like henna almost. Okay, so I put the Ilia concealer where I want to highlight a little bit more and just kind of maybe lighten up that color because I am looking a little darker after putting that um, Kosas concealer on. So I'm gonna go back in with the BK Beauty sponge and blend her out. That kind of evened my skin tone out a bit here. I think I might just take a little bit of that Kosas concealer since I'm still looking a little warm and I'm gonna take it down my neck a little bit. Okay, so now I'm taking that concealer down my neck and chest a little bit. It looks a little bit warmer. We'll work with it. So the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 3.5 claims to be medium to full coverage and has skincare benefits. Um, I do think that it made my skin look really nice and full and plump, but the color and the undertone is just way, way off. From other reviews that I've seen online now, I see that a lot of people are saying that this has more yellow-based undertones, so 
if you have warm skin, this might be perfect for you. But right now, not good for me. So on the left is it blended out and on the right is just straight swatched from the tube. As you can tell, this color I believe is a little yellow to be called neutral. I really, really like this product. I think it's just a matter of finding the right shade match. So if you're gonna buy this, make sure you do a little bit of research, watch some reviews to see what shade is gonna look the best for you. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with another Kosas product. We are gonna go in with the Kosas Color and Light Cream in the color Velvet Melon. This is a cream, blush, and highlighter duo from Kosas. I loved this really peachy color and this highlighter color duo just online, so we're gonna try it out today, see how we like it. I have swatched it so you can see my finger's been in it. It's very creamy and very, very dewy. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna take the Velvet Melon Blush Cream. I'm gonna take it on the BK Beauty sponge, just on this flat end. Ooh, that's a gorgeous color though. Mm, that's definitely giving us some shine. Okay, I'm not mad at that. We'll see how my foundation lasts though. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the highlighter in that Kosas palette. This is a cream highlighter. We will be going in with a powder highlighter as well. I'm just gonna take that on the BK Beauty sponge and we'll give her a little highlight. Oh God. Wow, that's gorgeous, y'all. That's real gorgeous. I ain't mad at this at all. I'm gonna take it on my brow bone. Oh wow, that is freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna take that a little bit down my nose and I'm gonna take that on my collarbones. Come on, collarbones. Give them a little shine, give them a little attention. They have been in a sweater for the past three months, four, six months probably. No, this is Minnesota, so let's be real. They have been in a sweater the past eight months because in Minnesota, we have three months of summer and nine months of winter. I will take it. I, you know what? I'm even gonna highlight my boobies. You guys are gonna get a little booby contour lesson here. I'm just gonna go back in with the butt end of the BK Beauty sponge and blend in the highlighter and the blush. I really like this a lot, y'all. Yeah, I'm really digging this. This blush and highlighter combo is bomb. It's really emollient. You can tell it has lots of oils, lots of hydrating things in it, but it is gorgeous, y'all. And so they have two different intensities. So the one I have is the regular version. So it's a little more, a little more sheer, but it's buildable, but a little more sheer. And then they have the intense pigmented one. So that their different colorways they have can be used on a variety of different skin tones. I think they, they created the intense ones are for people who like a more intense pigment or for people who need a little more pigment to their products. So people who have darker skin can use those products and expect that color to show up. So good on you, Kosas. This product is bomb.com. So for the Kosas Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter, if you didn't already tell from my review while putting it on, I'm obsessed with this. I think I'm gonna get some of the intense colors and some of the other sheer colors because this product is just beautiful. You can blend it out, it makes your skin look so healthy and gorgeous, and it really doesn't break up your foundation. I've applied this now with powder on and without powder, and I think it works both ways. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy this product. Here is the blush on the bottom and the highlighter on the top. Y'all, we forgot to bronze. I did blush, I did highlight, and we forgot to bronze. How did we do that? Ookie dookie. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in the color Baked. I got the mini one just cause I wanted to try this, but I didn't want to commit to a big version. I love brands that do this, who give little minis as an option to buy. This is the Milk Bronzer Stick in the color Baked. I'm gonna use this to bronze. This is a cream product. So I'm just gonna take it just a little bit here and I'm just gonna dot it. And this is gonna warm up our face even more because I wanna feel like it's summer, y'all. It's spring in Minnesota, which means, you know, it's 57 degrees outside, but I want the 80s. I'm gonna put a little bit here on my nose, under my lip, under my chin. And why not bronze my collarbone, a little bit on my neck, and the tetas. Told you all we're gonna get a free booby contour lesson. We're not really contouring the boobies. We're just we're just bronzing it up like we like we've had a tan. And I just put a little bit on my Eve's apple. 
So you can use a sponge, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want for this. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101 contoured foundation brush because that brush is my life. So I'm gonna use this in tapping motions. I do a little bit on my chin just cause your chin gets pretty sun kissed. Um, Alana Davison on YouTube does this and it looks really pretty on her. So why not try it? I have been kissed by the sun. Oh damn. So I'm just taking that BK brush and just brushing the bronzer color towards the inner part of my boob, just to make it look like, you know, my breastuses have been kissed by the sun. I'm not doing a major contour. I'm not like trying to make my boobs look chiseled. This just, again, tries to take what's happening in my face and the bronzeness and the warmth and just take it down, you know? I'm just, I'm even gonna put it on my shoulders. Like I've been on a vacation. I've been to my kitchen. I've been to my living room. I've been to the exotic wonders of my office and the arctic tundra of my basement. I want it to look like I've been on a little sunny vacation. Why the fuck not? So this is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the color Baked. I really, really enjoyed this bronzer. It's really creamy, really easy to blend, and it is matte once it dries down. Um, I think once I run out of this, I will be purchasing a larger size. So if you are in the market for a cream bronzer, I highly recommend this one. The swatch on the bottom is the bronzer blended out, and the swatch on top is straight from the stick. Now, we are going to use my favorite little boingy brush, the BK Beauty 102, and I'm going to powder my face, and my neck, and my chest, my neck, my chest. I'm gonna use the Ilia Magic Sands Radiant Translucent Powder with an SPF of 20. Another SPF product, cause why not protect yourself from the sun? So this powder comes in a number of different colors. I chose the Magic Sands color just cause it was the lightest color. Um, I'm very light right now. This is light, the lightest I've ever been in my life. But since working in skin cancer surgery, I see what tanning can do to your body and I don't want the bottom half of my eyelid cut off, so you can get vitamin D from a pill. I'm just feeling real ranty today, spicy, as my father-in-law would call me. Coco, you're spicy. So I'm gonna take that uh, Radiant Translucent SPF powder and on my little boinky brush, just get it off on the back of my hand so I don't get powder everywhere and set everything. This powder smells like honey. All right, everyone, I keep moving because I'm trying to record with natural light and the sun keeps moving across my dining room, which I'm sitting on the floor. Um, I watched my last makeup video and I was like, God, that's kind of dark in there. So we're figuring it out. Let me know if you like this layout better or this lighting better. We've powdered our face with the Ilia SPF powder. Another trick that I like to do is take the powder that I'm using for SPF. I do like SPF powders, unless you're doing like photography. So another little fun trick is you take like a little baby powder brush like this. This is a Real Techniques one and you have an SPF powder. Take that little baby brush. And I know I'm ranting a lot about sunscreen y'all, but I've seen a lot of things like doing most surgery is it, it really reveals what the sun can do to you the thing i like to do with that spf powder is take it into my part and my hairline because your part if you think about it if you're out in the sun your part is where the sun hits you like the hardest. You gotta protect your skin because your scalp is, is skin and your scalp can get skin cancer. And but we had people come in with hair as long as mine and as thick as mine with a skin cancer right dead in the center of their scalp. And we had to shave their hair off of that area. So they had a little 
patch there, not to mention we took a chunk of their skin out and had to pull it back together. So y'all, sunscreen, all the time, every day. Goop makes a sunscreen hairspray. These powders are great. There are a lot of options now. I just took the Ilia SPF powder, I put it in my part, and another really great fun thing about that is it acts like a dry shampoo. So I put it in, give it a little bit of a rub so it doesn't look so powdery, and it gives you a little volume. Okay, so that powder is done. So the verdict on this Ilia Magic Sands Radiant Translucent Powder is, uh, yes. Uh, I love it because it mattifies my skin, but it still gives me like that natural skin look. It has aloe extract and rosemary extract in it, so it really helps kind of make your skin look radiant and it sets all of your makeup at the same time. Plus it has SPF, which I love. On the left is the powder blended out and the right just swatched straight from the container. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some setting spray just to make my powder look more skin-like. Okay, so I did my setting spray. The powder just kind of absorbed the moisture from that. So now I'm gonna go into blush and highlighter powder versions now. I'm gonna go into the Aether Beauty Crystal Charge Cheek Palette and the color Compassion, which is more of like a peachier toned blush. I've done a review on these. You probably, if you've watched that, know how I feel about Aether Beauty. I'm just gonna take the BK 104 in that color Compassion. I take that blush on my the back of my hand first because these are pigmented. Okay, so now that I have a little bit of blush on, we're gonna do some highlighter. So highlighter, we're gonna use the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the color Lit. I think this one is described as like a champagne. For highlighters, I typically go for champagne because they're in between the warm gold and like the pink. And for me, that just looks better on my skin. I'm gonna pat into that and oh! <laughs> okay, so that is definitely uh, potent. So. And I like to buff it into the skin and just go in circular motions and really just work it in. Okay, that's highlighter. I really like this. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful color and it buffs in really beautifully. You could totally pack that on and make that metallic as crap, but I'm not doing that today. So the Milk Flex Highlighter in the color Lit is a definite must buy. It's gorgeous, has a bunch of beautiful clean ingredients. So go check out the ingredient list and the other colors available. I really recommend this product. On the left, I have the highlighter blended out and the right is just straight swatched from the pan. Okay, y'all, going into brows now, I'm gonna do this super quick. I'm using the Milk Kush Fiber Brow in the color Grind. Um, these are fiber brows. They have a tiny little baby brush and I go, I just barely go in because if I go in hard with these, I could look like I have blocky caterpillar brows and I already have pretty thick brows as it is. So I'm just gonna go in super light, go in with a spoolie brush and then go in with my Benefit 24 hour clear brow gel just to kind of do that shape a little bit better. And then with my Benefit 24 hour clear brow gel. So that is brows. That's super simple, super easy. Okay, so the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Grind. I really like this formula. I like the color it gives. I just have to be super, super light-handed with this. Otherwise, you could let down a lot of pigment. I love the brush on this. Um, it's a really, really tiny little baby brush. Um, and the fibers in here really do cling to your brow and just give you that full effect. Here is just a little swatch of the brow gel. Okay, the next product that is new to me is the Lila B B Alluring Palette. This little baby palette was expensive as fuck. She only has the four little shades and she's real heavy. She looks like a pebble. She's heavy like a rock. That's what she looks like. We are going with kind of more purpley tones today. I'm gonna go in with this Lila B palette for eyes. We're gonna make this super simple, super easy. So first I'm gonna take my um, BK Beauty 101 blender brush and I'm going to use this, this brown color. I'm just gonna take that throughout my crease. 
and onto my lid. Taking the same brush and that same brown color under my lash line. So next I'm gonna go in with this purple metallic shade and I think I'm just gonna dust that on my lid. I'm gonna take BK Beauty 203 and that purple metallic shade. And first I'm gonna start on the middle and kind of work my way into the inner corner. Okay, so that's that purple metallic shade all over the lid. Next up, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the BK205 angled shadow brush and go into the darkest color here. It's kind of a dark purple. Just deepen up that outer corner, this darker purple shade. It's not a matte, it's like a satin almost, but it's not, it's a little dusty, to be honest. So that dark purple shade, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best. Again, I'm not going for a super like dramatic look, but it took me a little bit of time to establish a little bit of color. Not a huge fan. So instead of having that dark purple on my outer corner, I think I'm gonna take that same angled shadow brush and just intensify the brown. I'm gonna take that brown under my lower lash line too. Okay, y'all, so that's the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take, I don't wanna get too crazy with my inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna take the white highlight shade in the Lila B, B Alluring quad, and I'm gonna just highlight my inner corners. This is a BK Beauty 204. It's the smudger brush, but I like it because it's just a little more precise. Okay, so that shade is pretty, but it's not giving me what I want. It's a little ashy, it's a little dusty. I would say in this palette, the two shades that I do like are this brown and then this metallic purple. The other two are just a little underwhelming. And for $58 for four shades, I would much rather buy an Aether Beauty palette where you get like 10 shades, 12 shades. But for me, this is just not performing for what it's worth. The only thing besides these two shades that I love is the packaging, it's real heavy. So the Leela B Palette Perfection Eye Quad and B Alluring is just a no-go for me. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more to see if it will give me more than it did in this video. But for $58, I just really do not think this is worth it. And here are the finger swatches. I'm going to go in the, with the same BK204 smudger and the Milk Flex Highlighter, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corners because that whiter highlight from the Lila, Lila B is just not doing it for me. That's what I want. Okay, so that's the highlight. I'm just gonna take just a little bit under my brows. On to liner. I'm gonna be using the Milk Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the color CEO, which is a dark brown. I'm a huge fan of dark brown eyeliners just because I think they make my eyes look more blue. And sometimes I think black looks a little harsh. So I'm gonna do this eyeliner quick. I'm just gonna do a really thin line and kind of smudge a wing out. I will say I've used this once before. You have to work very quickly, so I'd recommend doing one eye at a time because this dries down extremely fast and it is so long wearing that it's really hard to get off. So work quickly. I'm gonna go in that BK204 smudger brush. Um, I just cleaned it off on my makeup eraser. And again, I'm not going for like a wing, a perfect wing. I like a smudgy kind of smoky wing. Um, I think it just looks a little more flattering than something super defined and sharp. Just my personal preference. So the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the color CEO is fantastic. This is gonna wear all day and it is an amazing tight liner. So I do recommend this. They have it in a bunch of colors. So go check this one out. So on the left is it smudged out and on the right is just directly from the liner. Okay y'all, so I'm just gonna put some mascara on, some falsies, and my, this is not new at all, my Kosas Wet Lip Oil, as you can see, I'm almost done. So I'll be right back. Okay everyone, this is the final look with lashes and mascara. I use the Ilia Limitless Mascara, love this mascara, also clean. And then for lashes, I use the Ardell Naked 422 Lashes. They have been what I've been obsessed with lately. So 
I'm experimenting with where I'm doing my, my filming. Right now I'm in my dining room where we have a little bit more natural light. Tell me your final thoughts on the lighting in this video. Final thoughts on the products here. I think overall, just in initial impressions of them, I think I love pretty much all of them except for this Lila B quad. I think that these colors are really pretty, but these shadows are a little dusty and a little, they're not very pigmented. You can build them up, but they just didn't perform like I wanted them to. I'm gonna finick around with these a little bit more to see if I can get them to perform a little bit better. Um, and maybe I'll just do a very dedicated video to this and see how it works. You guys, they have other colors. If you all want to see other quads from me, let me know. Um, but for $58, y'all, I don't think so. We'll see, I'll let you know in future videos if this is something that I do recommend. As of right now, I think $58 can go a long way to something else like an Aether Beauty palette, or there, I mean, there are plenty other uh, options for these colors especially. So um, other than that, I think everything is performing really well. The only other one that I'm uh, a little iffy on is the Kosas Revealer Concealer, just because of the color. It said it was neutral, but it pulled extremely yellow. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna order a cool tone one to see if that's more neutral. We'll see, but the formula of this concealer I love. It's very hydrating, it's very grippy to the skin. It's very, I don't know, it just looks good. It looks really good and it makes your skin look like a nice satin finish. It has about a medium to full coverage, so I like the formula, just not the color. Um, I'm gonna get a different one and I will let you know. But everything else, I do like the Ilia Skin Tint, the Ren Clean Canvas Primer, the Ilia uh, SPF Powder, Milk Bronzer Stick, Milk Flex Highlighter, the First Aid Beauty Zinc Oxide SPF is fabulous, the Kosas uh, Cream Color in Velvet Melon, the Milk Liner, I mean everything today was pretty much a hit, except for those two. Let me know what you all wanna see from me next. Please don't forget to share this video if you found it helpful. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, wherever it is. And I will see you all in my next video.